Hey, so today we're gonna to be making prototypes for our best-selling charcuterie boards. And at the end of the video, we've got a secret reveal for you. So stick around and don't click away. So if you've been following along with our serving board series, you'll know that we've been trying to iron out all the wrinkles in our production process for all of these charcuterie boards. So we started out by making 100 boards. Today we are gonna make 100 serving boards. Why, why, why did I do that? And most of them were okay, but now we need to make prototypes for the final versions. So you guys may be wondering, what's wrong with the 100 boards you've already made? Um, well, we jumped the gun on those a little bit, which is typical of us, but now we just need to figure out how we want the final ones to look. There were a few things wrong with the first batch of boards we made. First off, they were each a little too different or too wacky, and while that's good because they look handmade and individualized, we put each one through the bandsaw and made their own unique design, but that's going to be really hard to teach an employee to do, to just know how to make a cool looking design. And some of them turned out looking a little odd. Um, second problem was some of them were a bit too small. We measured everything out and got them to the length that we wanted, but some were just a little too skinny for a usable serving board. And three, some of them were a bit too plain. They look nice, but they're a little bit too plain. So we wanna spice it up a little bit. And also we realized that after giving a few of these charcuterie boards to our friends, um, selling a few to customers, we found that they really enjoyed them. They were very nice, but they're more of a, they're more of a gift item or like a special occasion item that you pull out to look nice every once in a while. It's not really a daily use utilitarian item. So if we're gonna advertise these as something that people can use every single day and the realtor's information is on the back, so it's gonna get seen all the time, it needs to be a piece that's not so use it every once in a while or a special occasion piece that doesn't get pulled out very often. So while we're still gonna make these, they're gonna be more of like a gift or an add-on to another product, not necessarily the backbone of our sales to realtors. A lot of you guys had a great suggestion in the first couple of videos about using templates to make the designs. And while we resisted that idea at first because we wanted it to be custom and unique, we see the benefit now of just using a template with three really good designs. The next thing is that these boards have to fit in our boxes. So we wanna use the same box for cutting boards and charcuterie boards with the packaging that we've ordered just to you know save on costs. So we also have to make sure that the board is small enough to fit into our laser if somebody wants to personalize it. And we're gonna get to that one day. We wanna offer limited personalization options when we sell these online. So we can still laser engrave them, it's pre-made templates, people just put their name or something on there. Um, but it's in a style that we've already got a file for. All we have to do is change the text. And now it's time for us to pay the bills. Yep, that's right, we have a sponsor. And our sponsor is ourselves. 
Uh, if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that we're all about trying to help people start a business and learn to sell the woodworking projects that they build. And we've done that by making programs for sale. These programs are extremely in-depth and the specific one we wanna talk about today is our sales program. If you're intimidated by asking people for money like I was, or if you're just confused as to where to start to try and sell some of your work, or you just wanna know what to say when someone says they're interested, this program is for you. We take you step-by-step step from you know, getting your mindset right, what to expect, how to handle customer objections and justifications. We go through live sales calls. We give you a couple different pricing structures that you can go by because we always hear, you know, how do I price my work? So we've taken care of that for you. We'll show you everything that we use. We use this program before a client meeting or whatever. I'll watch a couple different videos from our own sales course. It's that valuable to us. So right now we're going to have a 20% off coupon. It's going to be the very first link in the description under the video. We've got a 20% off coupon right there underneath the link to the cheesy sales page. We'd really appreciate it if you took a look and uh, gave us a shot. All of our programs come with a money back guarantee, no questions asked, just let us know that it wasn't for you and we'll send you your money back, no problem. We'd love nothing more for you to take a look at our program and start making sales this week. We'd love to hear about it. If that's you, if you do end up getting the program and you make a couple sales, please, 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 please let us know. That's our favorite kind of story to hear. So thank you so much for listening to me jabber on about our programs. We really hope you'll take a look and uh, let's get back to the video. Okay, so here are three prototypes that we just finished. We think they look really good. We try to make each one a little bit different and have its own little special something. Um, so this one's really nice because it's got a circle up here in the corner. So if people want to hang it, you can hang it. If you want to hold it like this and stick your thumb through or up through the hole like this, it's pretty secure handling it. You're not getting anywhere near all the food that's on the board. And it's got this really nice pop of color right in the middle with Paduke. And uh, this one's got some nice rounded edges. So all in all, this one turned out nice. The second one, we decided to put a physical handle on it. We made it pretty small so it wasn't taking up too much real estate of the board. We like it, it's a little wavy on the end. Again, a hole here so people can hang it because we know a lot of people might not actually use these, they just want them for decoration. Um, this one's also got a little bit of a rounded edge and some live edge here. Um, that'll really pop once we get some finish on it. And this one is our two-toned one, which is kind of fun. Um, it's got more of a chamfer on the end. And then we also put a handle on this one. Again, a hole for hanging, because not everybody likes to use them. But yeah, overall they turned out pretty good. Pretty sturdy in your hand when you hold them. I think they're pretty cute. Which one's your favorite? Mm -hmm. ah, can't put me on the spot like that. I like this one. Like if I were to buy one, this would probably be the one I'd buy. I just like simple looking shoes. Boring. Shapes. I did not say boring. If you like this one, you're not a boring person. I like the little pop of color in the middle and I like how it's kind of sleek and simple and modern. So when it comes to the design and manufacture of these, obviously we weren't trying to do a speed run or anything like that. These are just prototypes. Obviously this one's the easiest. I don't really want to change anything about this one. This one was the hardest to sand because it's got the sharp angles and it's really hard to get in that corner. So I don't know how we're going to get the template figured out to where we can get into this corner. If you know of a really nice way that we can do that systematically without using a hammer and chisel, could an eight year old do it? To get any ideas, let us know in the comments below. And then this third one, we tried a chamfer. Uh, I was kind of disappointed with the chamfer burning because I, I wanted to do all of these with chamfers, but it looks like we're just going to stick with a round over. It's the most consistent. It's the most easy. This light, tiny little chamfer is really, really hard to pull off. Which one's your favorite? Um, I really like this, this one. Um, I hope we can get this handle figured out how to systematically do it much better. So these are the finished boards. I, we think they look absolutely amazing. We could not be more pleased with the three styles that we have. We think that these are gonna really complement our cutting boards and the other things that we're planning to sell. You got a sneak peek of the packaging that'll be in another video coming up very soon. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little teaser there. 
Uh, but yeah, if you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We try to put out videos. Jen and I are trying to start a furniture business in the Houston area while juggling our part-time jobs as hurricane hunters. So if you want to follow along and see how we're doing, uh, hit the subscribe and turn on the bell, get notifications and keep up to date with us when we post a video. So we'd love to have you along for the ride and uh, teach you everything that we know as we fumble through life. So um, anyway, thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.